Yo-ho-ho! -ho. Sorry guys, I gotta be really quiet here. We're sneaking into the blind. It's right at noon. Right at noon, 11.30 noon. I haven't checked the time here for a little bit, but we are out for a solo turkey hunt. We're actually at my buddy Wade's place, back on his property. He always has a ton of turkeys back here every season, and he hasn't seen them all year. And they just started showing up like two days ago. Yesterday there were three toms in here, and so he was like, Bob, you gotta get out there. See if you can whack one of these toms. Oh, but here we are. Here's the blind. Isn't she nice? Don't know what they've been eating in there, but that is what I'm talking about. We're gonna sit the decoy right out in front of us here. I know a lot of you have been going, Bobby, what the heck, why haven't you shot a turkey? Guys, it's been a lot more scarce here. I mean, a lot. Last year, there was a ton more birds. And, and I mean a lot, there was a lot more birds. This year, I haven't seen crud, hardly anything for birds, especially compared to last year. Wade was like, make sure you bring a decoy steak from home. I forgot, like usual, but so I found us a stick here. Oh yeah, it should work. Tom gives that bad boy a slap in one time, he's gonna break that stick right over. But y'all have been requesting turkey hunts like crazy, and I'm sorry. Again, we just haven't had them. But I'm gonna shut up, let's get in the blind. Before we get started here, I have to tell you, if you haven't checked out the duckswaterfowl.com website, you need to. If you guys want to support the channel and help me bring y'all more videos like this one, go down in the description, click the Ducks Waterfowl link, and go pick you something up. A hat, a hoodie, it all goes straight to helping your boy bring you videos. I did bring my mouth call today. I am not very good at the old mouth call. Uh, if I use it, I'm just going to be using it while they're far away trying to get their attention. Believe me, I can blow a goose call and a duck call, Oof, but I'm not very good on the mouth call. But here's my two windows. This is the one in front of me, and this is the one to the left of me here. And there is our decoy right there. And the bird should actually be following this fence line right here, straight up to that decoy. So this will probably be my shooting lane right here. But again, if y'all are pumped up that we're out here for a solo turkey hunt, you gotta hit that thumbs up button. Wish us good luck. Hopefully we can get it done today. Said one o'clock, they, they, they start really showing up at one o'clock in the afternoon. Right now it is 11.20. still learning this turkey mouth call. All I ever used before was the scraping box, the wooden box technique. <sighs> but we have, man it's only, it's coming up on noon finally. Got about an hour until the birds are expected to for sure show up. That's when they've been showing up pretty much as one o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes in the evenings, sometimes in the early mornings, but Wade has seen them more right around noon to one o'clock so again I don't claim to be a turkey hunter I'm just I'm just trying to act like one here <coughs> I'm for sure a waterfowl hunter but the turkey thing especially the mouth calling is pretty darn new to me not gonna lie that's the best I can do y'all if I suck just go ahead and drop a comment down below and tell me, Bobby, yo, you're doing this wrong. Or if I'm not too bad, let me know. But this is the first hunt that I've actually done the mouth calling on, so I don't think it's too bad for being my first time. Oh, man. Well, I haven't turned on the camera for a little bit here. We're ten minutes away from one o'clock when Wade's been seeing him the most. And I have done round after round of calling, and I have yet to even hear a gobbler. I haven't heard a thing. I think I'm going on about, where are we at? An hour and a half being in here, which is fine. I'll sit all day. But man, I haven't heard one thing. Haven't seen anything, haven't heard anything. There she is. 
showing up. We got him about 60 yards from us working this way. Smoked him. <laughs> there might have been a bigger tom on the way, but I was not gonna wait. No way. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, oh man, I've been sitting here for two hours. Oh, I'm caught. I'm caught. I'm caught. Oh. Let's go check her out here. Holy smokes. Okay, right when they came to the decoy, dude, I was not waiting. No way. Yep, thanks to old Wade. He said, dude, you got to get out there. They've been in the same spot every single day for the last two days. Look, she's still sticking around. There we go. Here we are, right here. I couldn't tell if that was the one. If that was, oh yeah, he's nice. How long are them bad boys? Inch? Right at an inch. Not bad at all. Look at that. Not the biggest beard in the world, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Almost one and an eighth, right? Eight and a half? Yep. He said typical two-year-old. Typical two-year-old, Wade says. I, like I said, he's way more of a turkey guy than I am. But that felt good taking that sucker, man. I'll tell you what. That was freaking awesome. What'd you think? He's like, man, I don't know about this bird, Dad. Come over here and sniff him. Look. Looky. Look, dude. Look. Look, dude. Give him a sniff. Look. Look, give him a sniff. He's like, I'll smell his foot. That's about it, Dad. Old Fred, he's looking good. Look at him, check him out. Look at him. The ribs are disappearing more and more and more. Looking good, buddy, looking good. But uh, it's time to prep this bad boy. So what I'm gonna do today, guys, is I'm going to show you how to dress your turkey. How to take your spurs off, how to take your fan off, how to prep your fan uh, so you can basically do a little mount by yourself at home and how to remove the beard and how we're gonna breast the turkey and then we're gonna cook us up some yummy little bites but first we're gonna start by breasting this bad boy and then we will take off all of the other things all right guys we're gonna get started here what we do here is you'll find a big hump on basically on the belly on the bottom side of your turkey what we're gonna do is that's where we're gonna rip it open and I'm gonna give her a little slicey dicey and then, just like a goose, just like a duck, you're gonna grab that skin and you're gonna rip it from the breast. What you're gonna do is just start ripping her back. Just keep working her. And you'll just start ripping that skin all the way back like so. Just like doing a duck or goose. It's just a lot bigger. <laughs> but let's pull that skin back, expose. The breast real good. Now I'm going to grab the legs and I'm going to actually pop them back like so, just like that. I'm going to separate them legs and push them back. Basically that just allows more space so we can clean off all that breast. Look how big that piece of meat is right there. I mean huge. So now that we got the breast exposed really good, what we're going to do is just going to start filleting her right off the bone. Start up against the breastbone here and work your way down. Just like a goose, just like a duck. Not much difference. The only difference is, like I said, this bird is a lot bigger. So, kind of take your time. You want to get as much meat as you can. That needs to go. Miss that piece. Let's, there we go. But like I said, 
take your time time is key now guys I don't claim to be a professional turkey cleaner I just wanted to show you guys how I did it there's a BB in him right there there's one of my BBs that got him I thought I was aiming a little higher than that alrighty here we are we're about done here kind of just if you're not good at it it's like me if you haven't done it a bunch you just take your time and just whittle her right out of there there we are check that piece of meat out holy smokes look how thick it is that is a big piece of meat y'all now some people like to save their spurs and one way to do it take your sharp knife and right here at the joint you're gonna take your knife and you're just gonna basically cut around that joint just to free up the skin cut all the way around it and then you're gonna grab it and just break it over slice her off but there is our spur now for the beard here we go we got our beard here every time I do it I just push the feathers back grab underneath that beard I mean all the way at the base of your beard I mean all the way to the skin you're just gonna there we go basically just pull it off takes a little bit of brute force you got to pull pretty hard but she pulls right off now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the fans so I usually like to bundle the fan up like this and grab it you're gonna come over here on the back side and you're gonna feel where the base of that fan is right there you're gonna put your fingers around it and basically right above there you know what out back you're just gonna cut right around the base of the of their fan there like so and there is there's our fan right there easy peasy i just breasted took uh my spurs off both of them my beard got that and we got our fan now i'm going to show you how to pin your fan up so you can have it on your wall well here we go I got her all pinned down what you basically do is get yourself a piece of wood or a piece of cardboard get you some thumbtacks and just spread it out pin it down real nice like so and then I come in with some baking soda and I sprinkle a little bit of baking soda all around this fleshy part basically what that does is just help all that wet flesh dry up faster so you can or you can do that or you don't have to completely up to you on my last fan from last year I didn't put anything on it so I just laid it out actually last year I didn't even pin it but then what's awesome it'll dry like that and then you can hang it up on your wall or do whatever you want with it a lot of people have uh, the decoys I don't know what brand they are that actually have a little clamp that you clamp your real fan on the top of the butt of so I don't know what brand that is that is that does that if you guys know drop a comment down below and let me know what brand that is of turkey decoy where it has that little clip that you clip your real fan to the actual decoy they look really good when you do that well as you can tell I got her soaking here been soaking I don't know for about 30 minutes got them all cleaned up nicely getting all the feathers off of them and whatnot all right so what I'm gonna do here guys I want to eat some of this I've been enjoying the uh, catch clean and cooks and I know you guys have as well I'm gonna go ahead and take me out of breast here and I'm just gonna take a little bit from it just like that there that's how much we're gonna use today for our good little kitchen cook but look at this look how much meat I have left I mean insane amounts of meat that you get off of one turkey so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my little sliver here I'm just gonna dice her up I'm actually probably gonna cut it right down the middle once like so and then I'm just gonna make little nuggets just like this this is the first time I've ever cooked turkey like this but there is no way that it cannot be good but there we go cut them all into just one inch nuggets oh but just like the last catch and cook we did got to give a big shout out to my boy flair for giving the good recommendation on the Frank's red hot oh my goodness this Frank's red hot wings buffalo sauce oh you can't go wrong with it I'm telling you I used it on that starling what was it a few days ago it wasn't bad it was like once you got past that good Frank's taste it was like oh there's the starling but I'm telling you right now 
The turkey is going to be way better. I can't wait to try this little combo. But I'm going to leave the franks and the turkey in a bowl for a while. Going to let that marinate probably for 30 minutes. I want, to, I want to let it soak in pretty good. But before we put the turkey in the pan, we're going to make sure our oil is piping hot. That is key. Now, while our oil is getting hot, I got myself a Ziploc bag. Going to uh, put a little bit of flour in there. Don't need a ton. There we go. About that much should do it for how much we're going to be making here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a little bit of jazz. A little bit of jazzy jazzy. This is some of Jordan. You all know my buddy Jordan. This is some of his special seasoning. And uh, I can't help but uh, want to mix it with this flour. Oh, we're going to put quite a bit in there. I know where there's more. Don't worry. Big shout out to Jordan uh, for the seasoning. This jerk, this is actually jerk seasoning, so I am excited to see how it turns out. I'm gonna go ahead and put in our yummy little juicy nugget. Look at them turkey nuggets. Oh, I'm gonna drop them all in here. Oh, this is gonna be good stuff right here, boys. Let me tell you. Seal our bag back up. Seen old Flare Daddy do this trick. Put some air in that bad boy. Oh yeah. Give her a good shaking. Whoop! It's gonna be some good lunch. What time is it, man? I have not ate. I'm getting hungry out here. It is three o'clock. That's why I'm so hungry. Man, that turkey hunt wore me out. But you're gonna get them all covered really, really, really good like so. Ooh, there we go. That's what I mean. You gotta wait till that oil gets hot. You want them to go in there sizzling, baby. But we're gonna put all these in, cook them all at once. Hopefully it doesn't get crazy and start blowing up everywhere. Oh man, that's gonna be a one-man lunch right there. Literally, that bird was shot <coughs> and in the skillet within an hour and a half. How awesome is that? Oh boy, look at what we got going on. Give them bad boys a little bit of turn in action. Oh yeah gonna be some good stuff oh boy check it out they are done oh they looking good look at that yummy little scrumptious bite of turkey time to find out what she tastes like oh my oh that's so good Oh my goodness. It's like the right combination right there. Oh. The franks and the turkey. And I'll tell you what. Oh man. They're extra crispy. None of the flour fell off. Oh. I'm getting a little bit of that spice <clears throat> of Jordan's seasoning. That cayenne pepper and stuff. Oh my goodness, that's good. Okay, yeah. We're going to eat all these. I mean, that's better than like KFC. That's better. I mean, oh my. Beth, you are missing out. Oh, but what an epic morning. What an epic day. Literally turned out perfect. It was insane. I, I had been sitting there for an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, almost right at two hours. And Wade was like, dude, you just got to wait till one o'clock. He was like, I promise you, they'll show up at one o'clock. And I'm like, all right, man. I shot that bird. I checked the time. It, I shot that bird at like 1.05 in the afternoon. And he had been seeing them show up at 1 o'clock. So they were literally right on the dot. But to shoot a turkey and have it on the dinner plate within an hour, hour and a half, I'd say that's pretty darn good. That was good. I just finished her up. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for y'all. Learned a lot on this hunt. This solo turkey hunt, I learned a lot. It was actually extremely easy. Uh, I didn't have to call much for him. I did not have to work much for, for that bird. I mean, it was easy peasy. But to go by yourself, to film it all yourself, to come home, clean it, get my fan put up, get the whole turkey cleaned, and then already have eaten it, it's pretty rewarding, guys. 
I am absolutely loving these cooking videos. If you guys want to see more cooking videos, you got to let me know down in the comment section below. And if you guys have any ideas for videos that you want me to do, drop them down there as well also. Like always guys, if you want to help support the channel, because this video has about an 85% chance to get demonetized since we did clean the bird and, and shoot it. You can always go pick up something from DucksWaterfowl.com. I will link this shirt, this hat, these comfy old sweats down in the description below. I always appreciate it when you guys go over there and check out what we got. But thank you all for being here. Make sure you hit that like button for your boy. And be sure to subscribe. We're coming with three to four videos a week. I'm really trying to do dailies, but it seems like I can only do every other day uploads. So maybe one day we'll get to dailies, but we're not too far off for sure. But thank you all for being here. We will see you on the next one. Peace.